Yeah, it does look a little bit sad. To be quite honest, it does. I'm not doing any grave hunting. We've scanned all this in the past. This is just a little walkabout. There's Isaacs and graves and all that there. There's lots of lovely walks all around here as well. Yeah, we spent a couple of days visiting Dellingham, me and Zara. Churchyards are a valuable refuge for wildlife supporting a wide range of plants, insects, reptiles, birds and mammals. This churchyard is being managed to encourage wildlife. Yeah, we've got people buried in here, but like I said, I, I was on the ball once and I knew just like that. But the tree is so vast. Webs are in our tree. There's a Susan Webb there, she could be related. I'm not doing Burr Green tonight, whatever happens, because I'm exhausted. Um, I want to have a fresh start. Um... It's always been a bit wild, this mind. It looks better in a way, but it's much harder for the family tree researcher when it's like this. Because I've seen it when it's been mowed properly. And that's a nice walk I've wanted to do. There's just not time. I'd have to come back another time. It would be nice to be able to stay a bit closer it's over in that patch there where some oak spelt with an E on the end are. And I got a feeling they came from further north. This has all been done out, hasn't it? Look at this. And they're not new graves. That one is 2006. Yeah, this has been well cared for. Now Mark, the one that Zara did, well, last time I came, he was easily visible. Um, I can't remember whether he was in there or up there, or maybe this was him. This could be him here. Or he could be in there. No, I think he's in there. I think that's him in there. Got a bit overgrown again, Zara, but not, still not as bad as when you did a lot of work on him. Not quite as bad. That's a nice picture of the church, that. So this is Dullingham, everyone, in Cambridgeshire, where we have ancestors. Where I've spent time, me and Zara going, and Brandy, going through the graves. And Zara spent a lot of time on that grave in there of a Mark Oak. You can't even read the name now. It has become overgrown quite badly again. But I can remember Zara working really hard. It was brambleized before. At least there's no brambles there. It's all. We've got pictures of it all. We've got pictures of it all. One day I won't be coming back here at all. I don't know if anyone else will. Um, if they might not bother. Um, I really don't know, really. I've done a lot of work anyway, if anyone is ever interested. They'll just have to find more of my stuff, won't they? To be quite honest, they will have to find it. And they might have to pay for it. Yes, yeah, so over there those oak graves were. Of course, these are newer ones, so I suspect that's why they're keeping these a little bit more cut. And um, these are people that have died not long ago. I 
baby there, small person, is it? Sam Foley, yeah. Oh, I want that. He's read, he's read, uh, 20 something, 24. He's got toys in there though. Many memories here, Brian. In the sunshine, like this. Me and you, and Zora. Sad feelings in my stomach. I can't wait to go home, you know. <laughs> I've got to do borrow green. <sighs> I don't want to do it tonight. I want to have some energy. I am weary now. It's been a long couple of months of intensive family tree, believe me. Intensive. Yeah, God, if we've done all these, right? You imagine starting out fresh now, and they're very colour placard as well. They're very colour placard. We d and there's loads in there. We've done them all. We did every one. The ones we could read. Right, what I'm going to do now is take some photos in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> 